So when I when we worked on the album, that guy too, we all knew like <laughs> that we had to kind of work with Porter because already even at that time, his track record was insane, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm a fan of house music, right? So the sample I took there it was really it was one of the hot songs. Like that song was really pumping in the hood. So much color. Bro, I was sleeping. You know, when Bori was working on that beat. I took that sample, I slowed it down. I slowed it down, and then I gave it a feel quite, you know, like, was speaking because, you know, influence, I was speaking also. Sleep, when I woke up, that's all I was playing. And, you know, it was slow, and slow, he was busy slowing it down and all those things, you know. And when he hadn't put on the drums yet, he had just this little chop. Um, and 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 really, when we when I when I got on the mic and started mumbling, you know, that I didn't, you know, that I didn't, I didn't have the words then, you know, I just and then I go, and then bit by bit I started putting in the words, and then we had um, the hook at that point. So then I did that king 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 king. Did that kick up go 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 go. Yo, bro. I think we got it. I think I think we got. I think we got it. You know what I'm saying? And and he was. He played it like about I don't know ten times. And five of those times he didn't say a word. It's just that was that was the biggest thing really. With it, it means so much to people outside of just um, it being a hot joint. You know, it was a very um, culturally impactful joint. Like it wasn't just a smash hit. It was like. This might be a forever journey. Exepur, abuela, somos ya gato. My journey with Kalawa. So with that now I started hanging the grouping with the king uh, Afro percent. So groupie it's a live band. Oh. You know, and I wanted to explore more about music. So I started hanging with these guys. With with that group there was a guy called Tiro De. Musibiti had a gig. I wanted to jazz what what I guess nobody is or something. I think they have a pub. They used to do this jazz festivals. So they were booked there. The drum piece in a way boogie. So Tiro came running. At that time I had a tax shop. But I was DJ, had tax shop, you know what I'm saying? I was like, hey Cho. Hey man, I can meet the drum piece, I can meet the jokes. So he's the guy I'm going to see him go there. Then he introduced me to Kalawa Jasmine. He introduced me to Oskiro, Mahuta, Spigere, Bruce Dobbs, Bill. Yeah.